Walking through nature and experiencing the sights and sounds of the forest are a sure way to feel at ease. So what if an entire building was made keeping those principles in mind? Enter Gaia. This new architectural marvel has set a new sustainable standard in Singapore with its unique construction. So what does it mean? Cutting edge technology. Singapore proudly calls itself the Garden City, a term coined in the 1960s by its founding father, Lee Kuan Yew. Over the years, the island has been busy planting trees and coming up with a new form of biophilic architecture where greenery and urban living go hand in hand. The newest addition to this green initiative is a six-story building, the latest home for Nanyang Technological University's business school. The design is made with gentle curves, sunlit atriums, study areas outdoors surrounded by lush greenery and elevators that descend into beds of tropical plants. Surprisingly, everything, from handrails to benches, door frames to room dividers, even the bus stop near the university, was crafted from wood. Not just the furniture though, the very structure of the building relies on mass timber, a modern type of engineered wood layered and bonded with strong adhesives. Spanning an impressive 43,500 square meters, it now holds the title of Asia's largest timber building in terms of floor area. Mass engineering timber. Singapore's Gaia stands tall as a six-story marvel constructed with mass engineered timber. Located at Nanyang Technological University on Nanyang Drive, it hosts teaching spaces on the first to third floors, a research center on the fourth floor, and faculty offices on the fifth to sixth floors. Additionally, it also has a basement car park and a single-story M&E ancillary block. Stretching approximately 220 meters in length, the building has a straightforward and efficient modular timber frame system. The MET components are crafted off-site and then pieced together on-site, reducing both construction time and required manpower. Not just practical, the use of MET is environmentally friendly due to being a highly renewable material. Its remarkable strength-to-weight ratio makes it more manageable than traditional materials like steel and concrete. Rain is a huge problem in Singapore and would have destroyed the wooden structure. However, scientists came up with a way to apply a hydrophobic coating of natural water-resistant larch that prevents the wood from warping and breaking. Gaia is a standout achievement, earning the esteemed Greenmark Platinum Zero Energy Award, the highest recognition from the Building and Construction Authority of Singapore. This accolade is given to buildings that generate as much energy as they consume. Gaia is actually the eighth project on the NTU campus to receive this honor, contributing to making NTU the greenest campus in Singapore, with a total of 16 certified zero energy buildings in the country. Japanese architectural designs, Gaia is a remarkable collaboration between Toyo Ito and Associates, Architects, and RSP, showcasing the skill and knowledge behind designing educational spaces and sustainable architecture. The six-story building is a vibrant center for learning, research, and innovation, fostering connections among NTU students, faculty, and staff. Named after the ancient Greek goddess of the earth, Gaia opened in May with a construction cost of 125 million Singapore dollars. Its exposed timber frame, devoid of cladding or paint, reflects a deliberate design choice that honors natural materials and creates an immersive experience akin to walking among trees. Renowned Japanese architect Toyo Ito, a recipient of the prestigious Pritzker Prize in 2013, collaborated with Singaporean design firm RSP on creating Gaia. RSP architects, planners, and AMP engineers headquartered in Singapore have over 65 years of global multidisciplinary architectural and engineering design experience. Guided by a philosophy centered on humanity, RSP aims to inspire and engage with society and the environment, creating purposeful designs for a better world. Gaia has a 190-seat auditorium, a dozen lecture theaters, research facilities, faculty offices, and airy study terraces, a space designed for holistic learning and collaboration. This project is a prime example of teamwork, innovation in design, and a commitment to sustainability and construction excellence. RSP representatives said they were honored and excited about the recognition from the SIA Architectural Design Awards 2023. It highlights their dedication to pushing the boundaries of design and innovation at RSP Singapore. During the building's inauguration, the university president, Ho Tech Hua, proudly declared their campus as the greenest in Singapore. 
The verdict from business school students on their new facility is yet to be seen since their classes on campus haven't started yet. There's a growing body of evidence suggesting that using wood in architecture can positively impact well-being, potentially reducing stress levels and bettering grades. Toyo Ito, influenced by his grandfather's lumber business, emphasizes comfort in his designs. He explained that a comfortable building encourages people to stay and visit every day, and he wanted to create architecture that inspires people to live their best lives. Logistical Nightmare Stora Enso, a wood products company, created 7,773 cubic meters of sustainable cross-laminated timber elements for the project in Singapore. These elements, including walls, floors, roofs, and stairs, were prefabricated, carefully sequenced, and sent in 29 shipments over 639 days from September 2019 to June 2021. This marked Stora Enso's largest delivery to a single site, and the containers, if lined up, would stretch 2.8 kilometers. Despite challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic and disruptions in global supply chains, including the Suez Canal blockage, the operation continued. On seat, guided by a detailed beam model, Contractor Steeltech Industries PT efficiently lifted and placed the prefabricated elements. Prefitted metal lift anchors, installed at Stora Enso's mills, are how the assembly is made even quicker. Stora Enso estimates that using wood instead of concrete and steel allowed the structure to be built in one-third of the time it would have taken with traditional materials like concrete. The rise of sustainable architecture. In recent years, there's been a huge rise in the construction of large wooden buildings worldwide. Some places are even constructing tall wooden buildings known as ply scrapers. An example is the 25-story Ascent in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, standing as the world's tallest mass timber structure at 284 feet. While European and North American cities have readily embraced this trend, Asian cities, including Singapore, have been slower to adopt it. Singapore initially had a height limit of 24 meters for timber structures, but this has changed, reflecting a shift in attitudes. The Building and Construction Authority, BCA, in Singapore, states that using mass timber can make construction sites cleaner and quieter and speed up projects by up to 35%. Interestingly, advocates argue that wooden buildings might be safer in fires compared to steel-framed ones, thanks to wood's slower and more predictable burning rate. Gaia, for instance, has a sacrificial layer in its beams, which chars during a fire, protecting the timber underneath. However, the primary advantage of mass timber is that it is environmentally beneficial. About 40% of global energy consumption is tied to building construction and operation. Unlike concrete and steel, which have high energy-intensive production, trees absorb carbon dioxide during their lifespan, making mass timber a more eco-friendly choice. When a tree becomes mass timber, it locks in carbon instead of releasing it into the air. Studies show that one cubic meter of wood can store about a ton of carbon dioxide. Timber, being a natural insulator, doesn't trap as much heat as concrete, making it great for warm places like Singapore and reducing heat loss in colder climates. The new building claims to save 2,500 metric tons of carbon dioxide annually compared to concrete or steel equivalents. This is like taking over 550 cars off the roads every year. However, the energy-efficient design goes beyond materials. The building has fins strategically placed to provide shade, keeping it cool without relying heavily on air conditioning. Remarkably, Gaia's air conditioning system uses passive cooling. It circulates cold water through coils to chill the air instead of using energy-intensive mechanical fans. The building's orientation and design encourage natural ventilation, aligning with Singapore's prevailing winds. As stated earlier, Gaia has earned the designation of a zero-energy building, producing as much energy as it consumes. Solar panels on the rooftop generate 516,000 kilowatts of power annually, and shading fins on the exterior reduce solar heat gain. This achievement is noteworthy, as only 16 structures in Singapore have received this distinction, and half of them are NTU properties, including Gaia and a campus sports hall, both designed by Toyo Ito. Let and see if this newer project lives up to its own expectations. If you liked this content, check out another one of our videos on some of the world's most astonishing builds.